Hello, hello. Ahoy. Yes. Ahoy and hello. <laughs> I'm covering all demographic bases. I've seen mm. wannabe game devs destroy their career on Facebook with that stuff. So New Zealand, for example, has a very small game developer community. Uh-huh. And there was a, uh, someone commenting on gender diversity and what have you in the workplace. And some young student dev was like, lol, you know, everyone should be equal. There's not a problem here. And then a whole bunch of senior devs in the industry were like, no, look, really, there is. There has been problems and I've experienced this and I'm a woman and I had this an interview happen to me. He wouldn't back down. And eventually mm. people were like, you're in front of the entire New Zealand game developer community here. Do you want to work in this industry? Because you're going to find yourself very short on employment prospects in this country. And finally, he realized what was happening. And some people are like, look, dude, seriously, have a think about what's happening. You're dismissing the opinions of people who have been in the industry, who, who work in the industry you want to work in, who've experienced stuff. And I was just like, oh, get over it. Obviously, I want to make clear that I totally agree with you, and I think this is ridiculous. But I do just want to read out this comment because I feel like um, Go on, you need to it. actually you look at it. So unleash my this guy rage. has said, "Why is the character a woman? Does this play a part in the story? I would expect a male character to fit into the game much better." Oh, this is so dumb. Well, I mean, this just speaks to his biases i mean flip the gender around why is this character a man does this play a part in the story i would expect a woman character to fit better into this game would it be possible to choose your character's gender i mean that makes no more or less sense than what he said no. right i mean it's ridiculous yeah. i mean i don't really get even where he's coming from to be honest why does he think a male character would fit in better oh god i just found his reply to people ranting at him about this comment and he then tries to justify himself by saying, men tend to pursue technical careers more than women. I mean, this is, again, ridiculous, because you look at the early programmers. Mm. They were women. Yeah. It, until the whole business became uh, this uh, bro culture, it was women who, who programmed computers. Yeah. yeah. This is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yes, it absolutely is. The people who say this stuff never actually listen to the women around them. I've got a friend, and when she she's a programmer, she's sharp as a tack. When she applied for a job, she applied with a fellow student of hers. And this is in New Zealand, and New Zealand's pretty damn progressive, so I was shocked to uh-huh. hear this. But this goes to show, right? you got to listen to women. So he, she told me she applied for a job, her and her, co- her mate, and they both got interviews. They both got offered positions, but she was told that the receptionist had quit recently, so could she sit at the front desk and do her programming oh job and God. answer the phone and take, take packages when they came into the building? Uh. And thankfully, she said no and came to work with us instead. Um, oh, my she's, God. She's that's great. terrible. I know. You just don't expect it. But, you know, these stories are everywhere. That is unbelievable. And though. people say, oh, men don't. You know, men tend to pursue technical careers. It's because women are constantly gatekeepered. <sighs> well, I'm sorry to bring that up, but I feel like we had to in some way address that. I really hope we see more maps, dynamic maps, um, fresh resources, yeah, I mean, stuff like that. To be honest, I feel like I'm going to reserve my judgment on that until I've played the game. Because yeah. obviously people have been crying out saying, but it's going to be repetitive or this is going to be a problem. Because we'll, as I think it was you who said mm. that people will work out the ideal routes. I feel like in a sandbox game, it might not even matter. Yeah, it might not. My fear is actually more about how I would play the game and what I, how I respond mm-hmm. to ideal scenarios. Like, So this is a strategy I've come to after like 15 years of playing RPGs. The only way I can get through a game like any of the Dragon Ages or Fallout is to basically play a complete asshole. Like I have to consciously decide that, all right, I'm going to role play. My guy hates side quests. <laughs> he doesn't like talking to people. And then I can actually finish the game. Yeah, because otherwise you're going to go out of your way to help all of the Everybody nice people. Everybody and... and just spend yeah. my entire time doing side quests. And I have no idea if okay. I've even started the main quest and I've already spent like 30 hours on it. And I get annoyed because mm. I've got other things I want to play. Yeah. So I had to do that in Skyrim and I managed to finish it simply because I was <laughs> being a jerk. I've never heard of anyone actually finishing Skyrim. Oh, well, I mean, I, <laughs> I, I, mean, I finished it with a small F. The way my girlfriend plays Skyrim Skyrim makes me laugh so much. Yeah. Um, she will spend hours and hours browsing modding sites, <laughs> finds the perfect arrangement of mods, plays the game for three minutes, okay, realizes right. she hates it, and <laughs> goes back to the drawing board. Yeah. As such, I've seen her sat next to me because our desks are side by side and do- for <laughs> so many hours. 
I know in that, theory playing know Skyrim without ever playing any Skyrim. I, actually, that was the one before that did that for me. I spent hours and hours on modding sites, and it's a kind of game where I should mm. probably just play it on console, so I can't do that. <laughs> Modding and optimal routes destroy me. Yeah. This is where Factorio kind of works for me, because Factorio has, in theory, optimal design. But the fact of the terrain, the replacement of resources, the placement of biters, means you have to compromise all the time. And the compromising is where a lot of interesting decisions happen. So my concern with it's a fixed true. map is that someone will mega nerd the game and say, this is the 10% more efficient way to connect this resource to that factory. And then I'll be sitting there doing my thing going... I really should do it the 10% more efficient way. This is exactly actually what kills my Factorio runs. Because I'll start doing something and think, no, there's a more efficient way of doing that. (laughs) Or if only I'd been more patient with slamming the regenerate button on the world generator Uh, over and over again. Oh, yeah. Sitting at world generation? Yeah, that's that's my bag. Like, if I haven't spent 20 minutes in world generation, I haven't actually, you know, I'm not actually serious about it. Well, actually, one of the things I did talk about, which uh, I don't know if everyone's picked up on, is there are artifacts to find in the world yeah but the impression i get from jace who was very cagey about tech when i talked to him about it Mm -hmm. was that there are unlocks and some unlocks will come to you maybe even some unlocks will come to you in some games and some won't in some games so ah so you're suggesting that's a maybe the the bits of tech are possibly the unlocks yes i think tech and well it could be um because they have confirmed that finding resources is going to unlock tech yeah i I get the feeling that you explore you find the uranium yeah um maybe you have to find some crashed satellite and now you know how to process uranium but maybe reprocessing okay. but it is has... a thing that you haven't unlocked in this game yeah. and won't ever get to unlock because oh, it doesn't okay. exist. And maybe in a different game, it's um, okay. something else. That would be interesting. I think that would deeply upset <laughs> the completionists. <laughs> I kind of... I feel like... For me, that's okay. I'm guessing that you will have access to everything yeah. in a save. I um, Yeah, and I don't. I don't know. Like, it could be that because they, they sound like they're going to kind of wall off some areas with monsters so there'll be some monsters you just can't tackle early on which makes me think a whole bunch of the advancements so i I got the impression that certain kinds of equipment advances would be discoverable or not discoverable you know depending on your luck so if they're walling off or or making you progress through biomes kind of somewhat with some direction like the final cave with Uh the giant beastie with all of its little beastie friends maybe that's a late game Uh kind of thing and you need the really good gear to go take it out when you do you're now able to access some tier three technology i'm just making this up and maybe that's uranium reprocessing or maybe it's um steel lighter something Uh or other and you produce more steel for less or something that is an interesting so these things yeah the impression i got though was that they are going to dump you somewhere central in the Mm. world at the start and your game variance will depend which way you happen to go and where you build your core factory. Oh, yeah, I think like, that's true. Just, you know, yeah, I think change. that's true. But, uh, I, but I, it, yeah. I do wonder if you're right with the um, the wreckages, if they are randomly Yeah, placed. I mean, you got an explorer buggy. I think the wreckages are uh, probably randomly-ish placed. And I, I get the feeling there'll be tiers of kind of unlocks. That's my guess. That's how probably I would do it. Because then you can put severely um, awesome tech behind a high tier unlock that requires a cave diving to do, basically. You know, so, so he, he's Jace has talked yeah. about the game being suitable and fun for people who like to go out and do kind of exploring and those who want to stay at home yeah. getting that extra 10%. So... Hmm. and you know i actually have a friend and we would play seven days to die and we'd go out like hunting and finding stuff and screaming at Mm -hmm. zombies where his his wife refused to leave the leave the base because she hated (laughs) fighting the zombies so she was the farm she was the farmer we'd come home and go what's for dinner and she had you know farmed (laughs) up some potatoes for us and added some extra bits to the base and it was was pretty funny to be honest i'm imagining that that will work quite well for players uh in this game because it does have small scale multiplayer Uh, so I'm guessing the people who like to zoom around exploring will do that yeah. and leave behind someone else to keep working and on the And so base. for that to be true over a game that might take 20, you know, 12 hours at a minimum per, per round, let's say, then there's got to be a lot to do out there and a lot to fight and a lot of places to explore. They've so, implied 100 hours. 100 hours in a single game? Oh, yeah. that's that's pretty impressive because I, I, can, I can't... That's like not rushing it, but they've, it, they've yeah, suggested... A mega-base type um, thing. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's a mega base, but they said that uh, one of the devs, Simon, has been playing it for 100 hours in one save and not yet managed to complete oh, it. Oh, okay. Maybe he's terrible. Most developers are terrible at their games, yeah. if you actually ask them. Yeah, and certainly the meme is that Simon is awful. <laughs> not at the game, but just In general, at life. He drags everything down around yeah. him. Yeah. On the subject of tech, they have definitely confirmed there is some sort of tech. Trick. Yes. And the one thing we know about it is that at least one of the ways to unlock vehicles is to discover your first car. Yes. Yes. And we don't know wh- if that'll unlock all of them or... S- just the first one or what but it's being implied that you find coal you can do vehicles now. okay uh, it's kind of interesting so i'm guessing coal is your starter fuel mm. for vehicles yeah it seems to be sensible and then they can have big factory stacks chucking out tons of smoke and looking industrial I, i'm i did kind of wonder if maybe the tractor can run on coal but the more advanced vehicles won't be able mm. to and they'll need oil and that might be what locks away those but you also wonder if the buggy might be also the quite low tech vehicle um, since exploring yeah, has to early on has to be a thing you need to be able to do. I it <laughs> I, no, blah, 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 words. 